Hello, hello everyone, and hello, Pita. How was your day, Pita? And how are you feeling? Don't worry, I'm not going to remove anything else. <laughs> Sorry about that. But I just realized it's hot in my room. Downstairs it was cold, but in my room it's hot. So now where to get up and remove that cardigan? So yeah, this is better. Feel nice and comfortable. So how was your day, Pita? 10, 10k for one lechon, huh? To do the full thing, full preparation for one lechon. Oh. So we'll prepare the lechon, we'll sell it at a profit, and then we'll take the profit and we'll go and distribute food. What do you say? Yeah, you can do that. Nesty Apple. Oh, I'm seeing Nesty Apple after a long time. Hello, Ia. How are you? I love Nesty. I love Nesty. It's very tasty. Thank you, Ia. Nesty. Oh my God, I'm seeing Nesty after a long, long time. Yes, you are very busy these days, very, very busy. You are busier than a bee. Bees are supposed to be busy, but ER is even busier than the bee. Previous days as well, you were busy. These days you are busy. And in future days also, you are going to be very busy. We will have to pick a, a time when you are not busy to come and visit you. My heart is in Rosario Under the Argentine sky There was a beautiful lady The one with the large golden eyes I forget most of the lyrics But still I just like to sing how can I marry another? My heart is in Rosario. I think some it's a Mexican song like I won't be surprised if Freddie Fender sang it 
but I don't really remember. My heart is in Rosario, under the Argentine sky. There was a beautiful lady. I, I wish I can get the lyrics, so let me just search for them and see if I can find it. How can I sing without lyrics? Let me see what I can do. I can make up my own lyrics, right? And keep to the same tune. Not bad, not bad. Oh, Jim Reeves sang it. <coughs> Jim Reeves, oh my God. Jim Reeves, my heart is in Rosario. Lyrics, let's go for the lyrics. My heart is in Rosario, under the Argentine skies. There was a beautiful lady with a dark and sparkling eyes. My heart is in Rosario. Your sentiment in I I There with a beautiful lady That I love, that I love Till the at I die, die. Mm, This is Spanish, Spanish Spanish, Brita, Spanish Jim Reeves. Her parents were rich as Nacaros, and I was just one of the hens who headed their 10,000 cattle on their 10,000 acres of land. But I was a very poor cowboy, and we lived uh, in world far apart. So how could I tell her I loved her or speak of the love in my heart? Oh, 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 oh. The lady I love never loved me. The lady I love never knew. The day that she married another, a poor cowboy's heart broke in two. And I know that she'll never miss me Or notice that I'm even gone The cowboy who saddled her pony Now rides through the dark night alone My heart is in Rosario Under the Argentine skies there with a beautiful lady with her dark and sparkling eyes. My heart is in Rosario, your sentimental eye. There with a beautiful lady that I love the day till the day. That uh, I die. Oh, my heart is broken. My heart is broken. Because my lady in Rosario married somebody else. Oh, 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 thank you, Peter. Thank you so much. But my heart is really broken. I, I cannot speak. I, I really cannot speak. But life goes on, right? Life has to go on. Life has to go on. So Jim Reeves sings that song. But of course, Jim Reeves is a better singer than me. But as Pita says, one day I will get there. 
yes, I will get there one day. No problem about that. And if Pitta says it, it will happen. When we come there next, we'll have a big sing song. Okay, we'll blast the neighborhood, we'll blast the canal, we'll blast the full San Miguel, San Miguel the two barangay. We'll rock it, rock it. Alex, you, Sharon, myself, the dogs, the cats, the neighbors, the pigs, the banana tree, the coconut tree, the chickens, the hens, the goats, the sheep, the cows, whatever you have there. We'll have a multiple chorus. Nesty, Nesty, I love Nesty because it's me. My grandkid must be saying, what's happened to Grandpa? He's gone little. He's little loony. He's become loony. We've lost our grandpa to the land of madness. Yes, I know it is here. That's what I'm saying. I said, Nesty, I'm seeing Nesty after a very, very long time. Good morning, Alex. I just took your name. Long life for you, Alex. Long, long life. I just mentioned your name. How are you doing, Alex? No communication for a long time. I'm about to hit two million subscribers, so I'm. How are you doing, Alex? Come on, anybody wants to comment on today's team? Eco friendly. Eco friendly. So, eco friendly living. Small changes, big impact. Because today, everywhere you see this eco, 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 everywhere it's eco. And like nowadays, I see on the flights when I'm booking a flight, there also I say, see, it says this aircraft is eco friendly and carbon something and 
It has only so much CO2 and God knows what all. They give specifications. So even flights have now become eco-friendly flights. And they tell you, take this flight. It is better than the other flight because it is more eco, blah, blah, blah. So eco, eco everywhere. There's a big echo of eco. In Puerto Rico, when the girl in your arm is the girl that you want is the girl forevermore so hold her tight and never let her go day and night all i do is dream of you when the girl in your arms is the girl that you want is the girl forevermore thank you manang thank you thank you thank you for the thumbs up thank you and good morning to you also manang and nice to see you here and Manang, I saw that video or I saw a post of yours. Oh, my God. You are meeting up with so many people in the family? Is all that your family or is that a meeting with other YouTubers or what? I don't know. I didn't have time to open it. I was looking at something and I just saw this. Manang, come join the happy family or come join us. I think it said, come join us. So I was just wondering, oh my God, so many people, what is this? Is this Manang's family and extended family and even more extended family? So I was just wondering, I was just wondering what that post is about. I will check it out later. So today, I, today Pita, I went through all your you and Steven's uh, post. I went through everything about the post for you and Steven today. And many things I was saying, I've seen this before. Where's my comment gone? And then I realized I had done it from Hector. From Hector, I went through all your posts and I made comments. I watched it all. And then I realized that is why it looked very common. But when I look from Burton Channel, I found that it's not done. Oh, my God, I said. So I went back and I did uh, a, a lot of them. And I saw everything also, okay? Ma'am Nesty, Ma'am Alex, Sir Winston, Ma'am Pita. Okay, let's see now what's the next one. When the girl in your arms is the girl in your heart, then you call everything. Oh, I have to go over the tune. No, the tune is going off. When the girl in your arms is the girl.
Mm. When the girl in your arms is the girl in your heart, then you've got everything. When you're holding the dream you've been dreaming you would hold, you're as rich as a king. So hold her tight and never let her go. Day and night, let her know you love her so. With the love of your life, spend the time of your love. Make her yours forevermore. So hold her tight and never let her go. Day and night, let her know you love her so. With the love of your life, spend a lifetime of love. Make her yours forevermore. Yeah, now I got the tune. Ah, I got the tune. Long time I'm listening to this song. Thought of this song a long time ago. Cliff Richard. Cliff Richard. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, you know, I uh, all romantic songs, what can I do? What can I do? They are just coming into my head. All the romantic songs are just coming into my head. They are flowing through my heart, from my brains, and coming out from my lips. Okay, okay. Nobody wants to comment on eco, 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 eco. Related to eco is organic. Everything is organic. And everything that is organic is very expensive. And sometimes I really wonder how organic is organic, right? Can't tell, don't know the difference. I keep thinking about Philippines, you know, again to adjust, you know, to a whole new life. Uh, the weather, I, I know it always rains in Philippines. Even if it's summer, it will rain. If it's winter, it will rain. If it's a rainy season, it will rain. I'm leaving. Catch you as soon as I am at school. Okay, the clock ticks. The talk clock starts now. Tick, 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 tick. Tick six ten, so six thirty you will be in school. Twenty minutes to reach, so tick 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 tick. Okay, your time is ticking, Pita. It's six ten. You're leaving the house now at five ten your time. Wow, five no, seven ten. It's seven ten in the morning for you. Seven ten. The clock is ticking. Seven ten. Now it's 7 11. Tick, 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 tick. Uh, soon it's going to be 7 12. <laughs> Anybody else wants to talk about eco friendly products, eco friendly things you use? Are there any eco friendly things you use? Any eco friendly products? Alex, Manang, Ia. Yeah. 
Do 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 do
I can't take that note, it goes very high and very low. You raise me up so I can stand on mountain. You raise me up to walk on stormy sea. I am strong. Cause I am on your shoulder, you raise me up to more than I can be. When troubles come and my heart, mm, 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 when troubles come and my heart lonely be. Very high does not score. So Mary, Mary, let's not be, let's share all the time we can before it's too late. Where is everyone? Where is everyone? Where is everyone? Oh, Stephen, how are you, Stephen? How are you, Stephen? Just coming from work, Stephen? You have a day shift, right? Oh, Alex is there. Alex is sitting quietly in the dark, waiting to pounce on somebody who comes and joins. Very good, Alex. Stephen, day shift? I thought you said you'll be free only on Friday. Something like that, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, okay, so day shift, all right. So 5.30 morning to 5.30 evening. So, yeah, so we are at home at this time. Mm. 
I finally, Stephen, I feel so ashamed of myself, but I finally got down to uh, checking out your video about your father's truck. Yeah. It looks like a vintage piece, right? <laughs> There'll be no one new my dear for me. I love that song. I've been singing so many songs. Alex, which one? Yes, but going to bed before too long. This truck is 20 years old. Okay, not too bad. 20 years old is not too bad. Is it still like in working condition and things like that? Yeah, you must be very tired, Stephen. I guess you'll have dinner and head to bed. Have dinner and head to bed. Mm. I'm a bit of a poet. It runs well, but the frame is broken. Okay, okay, okay. So are you going to try and repair it or something and use it or like you brought it to your place? Hmm. Did you have dinner, uh, Stephen? Oh, what am I thinking? Yeah, correct, correct. It's already almost 6.30 for you. Yeah, it's almost 6.30 for you, 6.25. Maybe you'll have dinner soon, right? When troubles come, and my heart lonely be. I love this song, you know. Beautiful song it is. And I saw I saw a video once about somewhere in the European countries and this guy is singing. He comes and he keeps his hat down and it's like winter. And he just takes his hat and keeps it down and my God, the way he starts singing, what a deep, rich voice and so high he goes. Beautiful voice, beautiful voice. We haven't decided we want to repair it or not. It's 7.25. Ah, 7.25. I forget about the daylight time. I forget about the daylight time. Right, so you came at 6 o'clock at 7.25. Yeah, forget about the daylight time. Still trying to get used to all the time adjustments. 
just today I went and got myself a Canadian number. I got myself a Canadian number. <clears throat> I have another phone, but that phone is not working. I'm not working. I really, I should have got it done when I was in Thailand, and I just did not do it. Alone, a child was standing. Anybody wants to talk about today's theme? Uh, this this theme about uh, eco friendly. Anything about eco friendly? Anyone wants to shed some light about it? Anything we can do to be eco-friendly in our daily lives? I need to charge my laptop. I need to charge it soon before the live stream goes off. Do -do 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 -do. Inside, it's already plugged in. It's already plugged in. Mata and my most eco friendly thing is that Mata's vehicle is a hybrid vehicle. Okay, it gets a 50 miles per gallon. Not bad, not bad. Yeah. So you do have to get it electrically charged. It's not. It's a hybrid. So Because she wears my ring, that tiny ring is a picture of two. Okay, Alex, we will have a look at your link. We will have a look at your link. I just commented on one of your posts. What was your post about? I commented on it. It charges itself with its engine when it needs to. Hey, wow. Wow, that's a nice one. What make is it? That's very nice. It charges by the engine itself. Very good. Must be some American make, is it? My hydroponics is eco-friendly and very organic. I don't need fertilizer to grow it. Hmm. Toyota Pyrus, okay. Toyota Pyrus, okay. Toyota, oh, Japanese, huh? Hmm. Yeah, you know, I was also talking about all these organic, you know, organic plants, organic fruits, and 
Sometimes I really wonder how much organic it is. Do they just say it's organic and sell it at a higher price? Or are they really organic? And how good is really organic, you know? How good is it really? I just wonder sometimes. I just wonder. But that is good, huh? They're eco-friendly and you don't need fertilizer. That's very good. So Pita has just arrived at school. See Pita, seven, seven ten. You left the house. Seven ten. You left the house, and seven thirty. You arrived in school. See, exact twenty minutes on the dot, Pita. On the dot. Clockwork precision. Clockwork precision. I forgot about the TikTok. My God, but you made it exact twenty minutes. Wow. Chicks and hens have to munch on it, makes the seedlings to grow at its best. Excited to see the video of your hydroponics experiment, ma'am, Pita. Yes, yes, Pita is trying it. She said she's going to, she's going to put another post on it. So I do not know when. Ah, I thought you said chicks and hens. They, they poo helps to help. They poo makes it grow, makes the seedlings grow faster. <laughs> That's what I was thinking from that point of view. You can't put a fencing or fencing or something around it when it's growing, Pita. Put a fence or something or you know what you should do, Pita? If the chickens and the hens are destroying it. So, you know, a fence might be very costly to put right around, correct? So what you do is you put a warning, you put a warning sign, put a warning sign over there saying, if you enter, you end up in my pot. And the first chick or hen that goes into it, catch it in front of everybody else, wring its neck and put it into the pot. Then the others will learn a lesson. They will not go there again. Okay, soon. Christmas also is coming soon. Christmas also is coming soon. So we'll wait for your video. We will wait for your video. We will wait for your video, Pita. No problem. Because what happens, the chicken and the hen may not be able to read your sign, your sign post. So you have to make an example of one of them, the others will be frightened. They'll never go there again. Hmm. 
It is no secret. I love this hymn, you know. When I was in Muscat, in Muscat, Oman, when I was there, I heard the I heard this, and I used to play this. You know, I bought a tape. I bought a tape. You know, in those days we had a tape, so I brought a tape, and I used to hear this, and it was like all gospel songs, and I forget the name of the group. I, you know, I really tried to find it many times. Let me see if I'm lucky now. I tried to find it. You know. It is no, it is no secret. All God can do. Oh yeah, this is it. Who sings it? Oh, Jim Reeves sings it. No, but this was a from the gospel thing. I mean, it's Jim Reeves. The chimes of times ring out the news. Another day is true. Someone slipped and fell. Was that someone you? You may have. What's this? You with my glasses also. I cannot read. You may have long for added strength. Your courage to renew. Do not be disheartened, I have news for you. It is no secret what God can do. What he's done for others, he'll do for you. With arms wide open, He'll pardon you. It is no secret what God can do. There is no night, for in His light you'll never walk alone. You'll always feel at home. Wherever you may roam, there is no power can conquer you while God is on your side. Take him at his promise, don't run away and hide. It is no secret what God can do. What he's done for others, he'll do for you. With arms wide open, he'll pardon you. It is no secret what God can do. It's no secret what God can do, what he's done for others, he'll do for you. With arms wide open, he'll pardon you. It is no secret what God can do. So we shall wait and see. Jeremy. Jeremy. At last we can see your name. Jeremy, good morning to you. And Nesty ER, ER Nesty shouts out to everybody. So, Jeremy taking uh, jazz to school. Oh, it's evening. Ah, no, it's morning for you guys. Yeah, it's morning. So, you'll be taking jazz to school, or have you already taken him to school? <laughs> So thank you, Jeremy, for coming here. 6.40, 7.40, jazz must be in school. Jazz, very sweet boy, very sweet boy. Oh, Elvis Presley also sings it. It is no secret. Even Elvis Presley sings it. 
But I love gentlemen, Jim. I love gentlemen, Jim, the best. It is no secret, it is a southern gospel song written and sung by Stuart Hamblin and released on the Columbia label in January 1951. It reached number eight on the country disc jockey chart. Wow! 1951, I wasn't born. And my parents were not even married. Wow, what an old song it is. And it's still so famous, and I still sing it, and I still love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Pita is the best. Hi, all. <laughs> hi, all. Hi. Hi. Dun, 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 dun. Alex, which song that was you said you like? Which was the song? Because I was singing so many songs. Which one did you say you liked? You can hit your head at the corner of the bed. You can see the world go by. But you never ever know what the other people do if you've only got to be a sleepy Joe. Now the time, sleepy Joe, now the time, don't you know, to begin a new kind of dream. You will be listening alone to the bell's telephone. Do -do 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 -do. Friends, Philippine Adventure by Alex Castro, 17 hours ago. Plus one, ma'am, Alex, Hindi, something, something, something. Something, something, something means it needs my translator to find out what is written. Let me see. What is written there? What is this now? Translate. Ma'am, Alex didn't post a video anymore, so I wouldn't really, so I wouldn't really change. Plus one, ma'am, Alex. I didn't post the video anymore, so I wouldn't really change. Okay. Nesty has not posted any video. Yeah, for some time. I'm seeing Nesty after a long, long time. 
Jazz said hi to me. Tell Jazz I said hi to him also. I'm going to bring Jazz to school. He's late. Yeah, he's late. I was wondering. Yeah, Stephen, I tell you, I was hearing the replay. I heard the replay and oh my God, it was loud and then it got low and then again it went loud. So, you know, I, I watched the replay again. I said I must find out what is this because for me the for me, the noise is very soft. For me, the noise was very soft. But when I heard the replay, it was really loud. And all of you were complaining about it, like, you know, so uh, I couldn't do anything now. But yeah, I even even for my earlier stream, uh, means uh, my morning stream, uh, I don't think the noise was so loud. I asked many people, like, is the noise still there? Because I heard the noise coming sometimes in the morning. I did not watch the morning replay. I must watch that. But uh, yeah, I don't ask me what all I did. Uh, long story short, long story short, I just bashed up my, I just bashed up my laptop. I banged it, banged it, banged it, banged it, banged it all over. I turned it upside down and I banged it around. You know, so you no, know, like they say, when your motorbike doesn't kick start, no, it doesn't. You know, it doesn't start and all. What should you do? Give it, give the bloody machine one kick. Then the motorcycle starts, you know, the motorbike starts. When you give it one kick, it'll start. So that's what I did to my laptop. I bashed up my laptop and uh, there's still a, there's still a humming sound. Yeah, there is still a kind of a silent shower. Yeah, but it's not a loud noise. No, this the quality. I bought this laptop in Thailand. I bought this laptop in Thailand, but the quality is not good. Now, I do not know whether I should blame the quality or should I blame myself because I try to compare it with my the old old laptop and the old Dell. I bought it in Dubai, but you know those days Dell was so heavy. You know, laptops were so heavy. I've got it for over fifteen years. I remember, and from that one, loud sound comes. Louder than what this was, okay? A loud sound comes. And I gave it in Canada when I came. I gave it to one guy. He was known to my son. So he, I said, it, it's a challenge job for you. If Whatever you can do, you do it. So he upgraded. He updated it all with the latest software. He said, my God, this is very old, he said. So he updated it, you know, with the latest windows and uh, a lot of other softwares. And, you know, he did drivers and all that. He did all that. And he returned it to me. But he said, boss, one thing I cannot do. I said, what is that? He said, I cannot get rid of this sound. I just do not know why. So can you imagine a fellow who's so good in his work to repair laptops? He himself said, you know, we think it's the fan motor or some loose screws or extra dust inside, you know, all these kind of things could be uh, the cause for it. But that guy opened it. He, you know, added a new windows. He added, uh, you know, uh, he updated all the drivers. He updated all the software. So many things he did. But he said, I do not know and I cannot rectify this sound. I just do not know where the sound is coming from. What's the problem for it? So, uh, you know, I tried to do so many things, but this is one thing I just cannot do. I said, doesn't matter. I said, I don't need it. I only do all my research work or type in emails or type in, uh, you know, uh, letters and those kind of things. So it's okay. I said, the sound doesn't disturb me. So, so I was really, you know, wondering. So maybe, you know, I don't know. I love so maybe, you know, in those days, I never, re I used my laptop quite a lot. Uh, but I, I guess, you know, I started with online teaching when I came to Thailand. I, I used to use an iPad. I used to use an iPad, but I found the iPad is too small and ineffective for my teaching. And that is why I went ahead and I bought a laptop. But I think the quality out here is not good, though I've used it extensively. Like I am like almost, except when I'm sleeping and going out shopping or something, except for those times, I am 24-7 on my laptop. 
So maybe I am using my laptop more than I used to use it before. So that must be one of the reasons why, you know, things are going wrong. But I think it's more than that. I think the quality is really bad. Because, you know, the screws are the first thing that started coming out. Just, uh, suddenly I find one screw on the bed, you know, or on my table. Where does that screw has come out from? I better keep it safely because, you know, screws are screws if it's suddenly lying here. And then I'm trying to think from where the screw could have come out. And the only thing I can think of is my laptop. So when I shut down my laptop and closed it, I turned it over and sure enough, screws are missing. And the guy has come and done some repairs before, all right. So when he came and did it, um, he didn't create, he didn't check on so many faults, you know. Just so I, I'm just living with that. So what happens to it and when it happens, Stephen, I myself do not know why it is happening. And you know, and if that guy couldn't rectify the sound, how the hell will I ever be able to, uh, you know, rectify that sound? So the only way I could do it was to bash bash up my laptop. I really pack, 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 pack some good punches, you know, some uh, undercuts and some overcuts. And I gave all the kind of punches I could, you know. So it's behaving itself for now. It's behaving itself for now. So yes, Jeremy, Jazz is going to school very late. What happened? Everybody got up late. Yeah, but there's still a sound from the laptop. There's still a sound. But anyhow, what to do? As long as it's not like, you know, that day. Oh, I know I heard the replay. It was awful. It was awful. And my apologies, my apologies. But I'm so sorry, you know. I know it was very disturbing noise. But I just couldn't. There's nothing I could do except for shut down the live stream, you know. Uh, there was just no way I could do something. Uh, just a little something, just a little tip that I will share with you, okay, all of you, and especially like new people like Steven and Peter and, uh, you know, uh, just a, a little bit of a tip, but uh, I've been doing this very often. Sometimes, sometimes I do it almost after one hour of uploading a video on YouTube, you know, after uploading a video. I find within the first hour, it's not getting many reviews. Now, of course, it also depends on many other factors like, you know, and one of the main factors would be the time you have uploaded your video. Are people really watching it at that time or not? So, so I don't know about that factor. But within one hour, if I find my video not doing well, I change the title in my video. And then I keep monitoring it. And supposing in another half an hour, I'm still not getting reviews. Again, I will change my title. So I change my title very often. And uh, after some time, I find my video just shooting up. You know, the numbers just keep shooting up. So don't be afraid. If you find your videos not getting a lot of reviews and, you know, it's been it's been uploaded for about three, four hours, five hours, like, you know, don't don't worry about it. Just go and change your title, you know, change it around. Try to make it something catchy, you know, and you'll find that your videos are soon, uh, you know, going higher. Try it, try it. OK, but I find that uh, this. But there was a video I posted this morning. It's now six, almost seven hours since I posted the video. It was not doing well. It was not doing well. Like, like almost for an hour or two hours, it had only two views. And then after that, it became four views. After another, you know, couple of hours, it became four views, then eight views. But not doing well. But some or the other, I feel my title is quite a nice title. So I don't want to change my title. So I did not change it. I did not change my title. But now I'm just looking. It's gone up to 256 views. I saw it earlier, 
it was like 88 views and suddenly next time I looked in a few minutes it went to 99 views then next it was 104 views so I found it going up you know I said okay good thank god at last it's going up and now I'm looking at it it's about 256 views ah uh, yes yes Steven take care I know it's a hard working day for you 12 hour shift and things like that so Steven good night and take care and sleep well you have to get up early morning fresh as a daisy and off to work so take care have a nice uh, night okay take care bye and thank you thank you for being on my life for so long okay thank you and bon new bon bon we bon we i think that's how they pronounce it bo bo we bo we bo we good night in french bo we Bowie. I could have danced all night. I could have danced all night. I could have played all night upon a thousand things. I've never done before. I could have danced all night. I could have danced all night. I could have danced, danced, danced all night for my fair lady. My Fair Lady was also a book written by George Bernard Shaw. I think he's now Sir George Bernard Shaw. And uh, it was entitled Pygmalion. Pygmalion. I had to study it in school. But I, I preferred the movie. The movie was much better. And uh, Chris... Oh. Julie Andrews and... Oh, I forget his name. Not Christopher Plummer. No, Christopher Plummer acted in Sound of Music. But this guy was Rex Harris. Rex Harrison. Rex Harrison. Good actor, man. Good actor, Rex Harrison. Right. I enjoyed the movie a lot. Very nice movie. I saw it many times. So much so I bought a videotape. I bought the videotape of it also. And very good print. The videotape had a very good print. Oh, retirement in Philippines with Rose. Nice to see you here. Time into Philippines withdraws. Uh, I'm just thinking, is it Rodney? No. Not Rodney. Who is this retired in Philippines with Rose? Only Rose I know is Rosemary. It's me, Winston. It's me. Yeah, who's the me? I'm just trying to think, you know, because it's we've come after a long time, and the only thing I can think of, I don't know. No, but it's not. Uh, it's not you, Rodney. Oh, it's you, Rodney. Okay, okay. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Ah, Rosemary, okay. Yeah, because the only rose I know is Rosemary. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Rose and Randy. Correct, correct. Okay, okay. You change the name of your thing again or what? Yes, yes, in Billy Run. Correct. 
Yes. That's why I said the only rose I know is rosemary. And I was like, because, because it cannot be Rodney, because Rodney is not retired in Philippines, and Rodney and his wife are still living in northern Ohio or something like that, right? Yeah, yeah, correct. Have news for you. Bad and good. Okay, you want to send it by message? You have news for me, bad and good. Okay, send me on Messenger. Send me on Messenger. Let me hear what it is. Good to see you on my channel, Rosemary. We'll call you. Uh, okay, after my live stream, you want to call me? I'll send you a message after my live stream. Then you call me. Okay, you call me. Or you might be busy with your pigs or something like that. Yes, after my live, I will just tell you. After my live, I will just uh, send you a message when I'm free and before the kids and all go to bed. Yeah. And uh, what I can do is, even then, at least I can put on my Bluetooth. You know, I can put my Bluetooth on and I can speak softly. And if the, if the grandkids have come up to sleep, I'll go down. Okay, there's still time. I, I'll message you. I message you. I hope the good news is real good news and the bad news is not too bad. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, so that is it. Uh, Rosemary, I heard that you were on a live stream for more than 12 hours. I said, what? More than 12 hours? How can that be possible? And then I was told, yes, because Rosemary was sitting and waiting for her mama pig to give birth. <laughs> yes, I was told you were on your live stream for more than 12 hours, but you were sleeping in between also because you were you were waiting for your you were waiting for your mama pig to deliver. I said, no, Rosemary, 12 hours, impossible. I've never seen anybody being on live stream for so long. And then a little birdie told me, cheep, cheep, cheep. A little birdie told me, cheep, cheep, cheep. Don't worry, you know, Rosemary. Um, I, I know I my apologies. I, I I I do not have a lot of time, but whenever I do have time, uh, I, I I look at Stephen's videos and comment. I look at Pita's videos and comment because they are my prodigies. So I you know look at that. Uh, my sister dropped off. I don't know. She's not putting up any videos, but uh, the only other videos I look at are your videos. You know. Uh, some I look at Ia's videos, uh, Ia's videos I look, Alex's videos I look, uh, Manang I look at, you know, because these are always on my channel, so I keep looking at their videos also, but I never forget your videos, so I do look at it. So that day when I was told, I said, oh my gosh. So, if have you put up a video about your mamas? Piglets, then I will definitely uh, you know, tune in and watch it. I watched uh, Randy making his uh, meat thing, you know, uh, making his meat process. How was it, uh, you know, how was it finally when it was ready? How was it like, you know, people enjoyed eating it? And what did you do with the quantity, like, you know, uh, of the meat that he has, uh, he had made? Like you must have been giving it to all your family members and what was the reaction to the very first product that he had made? 
because I know it's something new for Andy also, and uh, he is, uh, you know, just experimenting. And I'm sure you would get better and better in time. But sometimes you never know, you know, the very first time you try something, you know, it, it just works out very well. So, yeah. Because you had American farmer and all, no? I don't know, you changed your title or what? You, are you had American farmer. I, yeah, I think because it's in blue, it's highlighted in blue, so must have changed from the Filipino farmer or something. Hmm. Ching, 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 ching. Because even Rodney, Rodney changes uh, the title of his video. I haven't seen Rodney in a long, long time. He has not come on my thing. He or uh, neither his wife, Kenlin. So I don't know about that. <laughs> The way I do, you're watching me tomorrow, will tell on you, when tears come down, I'm calling you, you toss around, I'm calling you. Hello, come. Um, well, yeah? I want you to come downstairs now. What did I? Um, okay, I'm coming. Please. Anything. Okay, I'm coming. I'm coming right away. Okay, I just need to go down and check out something and I'll be back. Okay, a few minutes. I'll be back and see what it is. If they are having dinner, I'll come and I'll go off. Okay.
Just had some instructions uh, you know, for dinner and uh, what's it for lunch tomorrow and things like that because uh, yep so that's that. Right, so that was it. Some instructions. And, 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 and. Two, 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 two. So what are the news? What are the news? Good to see Nesty around, huh, Ian? Uh, yeah, after a long time you have resurrected Nes Nesty, so that's good. Still on here for you while doing my chores. Yes, uh, yeah, thank you so much, yeah. Appreciate that. But I'm thinking, I don't know how many others are still here. Right, I'm not too sure. Pitar also is at work, so. Maybe Peter is hanging around somewhere listening. I know Alex was listening because suddenly she, <laughs> she suddenly popped up with a message when Stephen came in and said something. <clears throat> so,
I'll be loving you eternally. There'll be no one you might hear for me. Oh yes, Pia. Pita is said Pita is still hanging around somewhere. <laughs> Pita ran me in sights, hiding. Oh, incorrect also. Oh my god. This is too much. I connect me in sights. Okay, um, let's call it a day. Okay, I will uh, end the live stream. All right, I will end the live stream. Thank you, really. So many of you uh, were on my live stream today. That is really very good. Uh, thank you, everyone, for being here to support me. I have not had. Uh, thank you, everyone, for being here to support me. I really appreciate it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yes, yeah, thank you also. Yeah, thank you so much. God bless you all. God bless you all. And have a wonderful, have a wonderful day or night, depending on which part of the world you are. And most of you are having a day, and those who are night have uh, kind of gone off to sleep, I guess. Mm -hmm. dun, dun, dun. We had a good time here, right? Yes, of course. And I hope you all enjoyed my singing. And it is as sweet as one. So, love you all. God bless you and your families. And au revoir. Till we meet again. Au revoir. Au revoir. Till we meet again. Okay? So, thank you. And come up with another wonderful theme next time, all right? Bye. Bye. Do, 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 do.